Hi, today we'll talk about zippers. And I'm Anne from madamsaw.com and I thought it would be a good idea to explain you a little, to give you a little introduction about the types of zippers there are, the tools you can use on your sewing machine and the ways you can put a zipper in your project. So the techniques or the installation styles. Um, first, some basics about a zipper. The, a zipper has different parts and so you understand what I'm talking about. If you have a zipper like this, you have the tops, tops here, those two little bars at the top. You have a stop or two stops if you have an open end zipper uh, at the bottom, so the bottom stop. You have the slider and the pull and all of these things and of course the tape you can get in different colors and sizes and shapes. So there are metal zippers, plastic zippers, nickel zippers, the, the, those are with little boxes. This is a, is a style with a spiral. Um, you have thin ones, wide ones, long, short and a lot of colors. Uh, if you have to choose a zipper uh, for the length, it is important to know that the lengths are measured from the bottom box until the top box, so not the tape. The tape is not measured, there's always a little end to attach it onto your project, but the length is measured just from the top box to the bottom box. So that's important to know if you have to choose a zipper in a store. So depending on the project you need a zipper for, you will need a, a more heavy one like for a jacket or a winter coat, um, a more thin one for um, like a little girl's dress. You have two parts if you have an open end zipper and that one you'll need of course for a jacket, for some uh, maybe a hoodie, a jacket or some home decor items, who knows, it depends on your project and look at the pattern you or the tutorial you are following. Then there is a difference between visible zippers and invisible zippers. So a regular zipper is this one and mostly a regular zipper is also one that has a closed end and that one is visible if you attach it to a project. It is really hard to completely cover in a nice way a regular zipper. There are techniques but the invisible zipper is really really made to be completely invisible. It is thinner, the uh, zipper itself is in the back, at the front you just see the fabric and um, there's a special technique and special tools to attach an invisible zipper. I'll show, I'll show you later. I'll explain seven different ways and for four of them I have examples of my own. I'll show you those ones first. So as we were talking about the invisible zipper, this is a little dress of my daughter. Ta-da! And here's a zipper in the back and if you look at it at first you don't even see that there is a zipper attached. But there is. Here it is. And you just close it like this. And so this is the concealed technique with an invisible zipper. Then you have the fly front and that is of course for trousers or pants. And the only thing you see is the stitching over here. And so the zipper is completely covered. And, well, 
the trouser technique or the fly front. And then I have the separating style for jackets or sweaters that open in the front. And this is a bomber jacket for my son. And the zipper is also very visible, so it's not a covered zipper. Um, and you can open it easily. And just like the uh, separating style, you also have the opposite of that is that the both ends are closed. So that is uh, an inserted zipper and it is also a exposed zipper, an exposed zipper. Just like the one on the sweater actually. But that one was separating style and this is inserted. And then for the three techniques uh, I don't have, or the two I don't have an example of, is the lapped style and the centered style. And they both are made with regular zippers. So not invisible zippers, but you make them invisible by covering them with some fabric. And not like with pants, but just um, like a small crease in the middle for the centered. Or, and then you have two strips of fabric that cover the zipper or the lap style. There is just one side that covers the zipper completely. That is mostly used like with skirts or dresses. Then let's go over to the zipper feet. So I have three feet here. I have the invisible zipper foot, just used for invisible zippers. I have my regular zipper foot that came with my brother machine and most machines come with a regular zipper foot used for regular zippers. And then I have the adjustable zipper foot, it's a specialty foot and that can be used for the same projects as the regular zipper foot but it has some advantages because you can play with the distance from um, the foot to your needle and to your zipper. Um, you can move it from left to right. That gives sometimes more stability because you can choose where you put the pressure and where you put your needle compared to the foot. The regular zipper foot you can mostly attach on the left of the right of your needle. So there are two attachments to a regular zipper foot as well. These two are snap-on feet and this is a screw-on foot. Uh, let's start with uh, the regular zipper foot. This one, the one that came with my machine. So yours will probably look a little different. You snap off your regular foot and you snap on this foot. And you can snap it on on the left or on the right. So those are, there are two positions. There you go. And of course you can reposition your needle as well. Then you take your project and you put the tape on your fabric, on the edge of your fabric. There you go. And so the zipper foot allows you to sew really close to the edge of those little teeth. You can even go closer if you want. Closer, like this. Right next to it. Okay, let me show you. And then you can top stitch the other side 
and then I'm going to reposition and take the other side like this Invisible zipper foot is also a snap on foot. Snap it on. You can't reposition your needle with uh, a zipper foot, uh, a zip, an invisible zipper foot because you know it will touch the metal. It has to go through the little hole, so it's always in the center. Tape on the edge of your fabric and you open. the little zipper like this so it will fit the crease so this has to go in the second crease and you will stitch just next to those little feet If you want to do top stitching on an invisible zipper, normally you don't because the fabric has to cover the zip, the, this little edge. But if you want, you can't use this um, foot, you better do it with the regular zipper foot. And then last but not least, adjustable zipper foot and as it's a screw on foot you have to unscrew it and there goes my little tool you unscrew your presser foot holder and you screw on the adjustable zipper foot foot like this depending on your project and on where you are positioning your needle so I want to stitch on this side so I have to move my zipper over here and that will be okay Touch it with a little screw in the back. Maybe I can position it. Nope, nope, it's not quite good yet. Let's check. 
always use the hand wheel to check if your needle is not touching that metal part. say about zippers and I'll be planning a new post about inserting an invisible zipper, about making a centered zipper. Well, maybe I'll go over all the techniques this year. We'll see what you guys want to know. So please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye!